darlings, it's Mummy, Sybil Brunton, and I'm coming to you live from Cherry Grove. And this is the downtown area of Cherry Grove on Fire Island. And there is the beautiful sunset here on June, I believe it's 10th, 2023. And my camera, my little telephone is not making it nearly as beautiful. It is absolutely breathtaking. It's, it's like, it's the single sun version of Star Wars. It's like you want to have the, a twin sun there, but it is absolutely beautiful. And of course, the wires stretching across from it and across it and everything. It's sad, but um, I, I can't even begin to tell you how beautiful it is. Cherry Grove is bustling. It's a Saturday night. People are at Cherry's and, and there's a the Cherry Lane restaurant and there's Floyd's and all of this. And there's our downstairs neighbor, neighbors, Victor and Rick, who we absolutely adore. And we are in the gate complex of Cherry Grove. Darlings, I have not posted in ages uh, a tourette. Um, there's been so many different things I could have posted and uh, so many different things from last year. Last year, we lost our... Uh, place uh, bottoms up at the last minute and literally at the last minute we were uh, notified that we were being uh, that the house would be sold and that we would be um, evicted and we thought well we'll stay there and the, the realtor uh, who was selling the house said oh no keep uh, them upstairs in the unit upstairs they've decorated it so beautifully and perhaps the new owners of the house would be interested in having renters who would be um, reliable and, and trustworthy and and be a source of income to the new owners. No, the landlord who will remain nameless um, decided that he wanted to sell the place and have it be empty uh, and he didn't want to give the option to the new owners the new prospective owners it's interesting because the new the people shopping for the place uh, and the realtor all felt that it was better to sell it and have the potential of having an upstairs neighbor and let the new owners decide to get rid of the renters if they wanted. But nope, whatever. So on two minutes notice, notice basically, we were told that we were being vacated and evicted. And so mummy sold tons of her uh, memorabilia and Cherry Grove history and antiques and plants from her deck. And you all know the story. Anyway, uh, so I lost half of my stuff. To make a long story short, a realtor at wonderful, wonderful uh, Summer Place Realty, Bill Achignan, right over there, um, notified us at the last minute, literally in September, that he had a place for us, and this is called Heaven's Gate, and that's where we are, and this is the gate complex. So these are all apartments downstairs that are gates. So there's uh, Water Gate and Golden Gate and uh, Hell Gate and uh, Star Gate and all of it, and these are all apartments below, and we are up here on this wonderful, uh, <laughs> incredible penthouse overlooking the entire grove. We are looking. Who would have thought that our view would be better? then it bottoms up. Here we are, an unobstructed view, and there's the sunset getting more and more gorgeous. And it's, again, I wish I could film it beautifully for you. But you know my feelings about the 4th of July and about all the dozens of towns, scores of towns along Long Island that have their firework displays. Well, stay tuned, darlings, because Mummy's going to do that again this year, and she's going to show you all those fireworks from our balcony here. We would never have thought it possible. Um, I want to show you very briefly, and then we're going to wrap up for tonight. But here's my deck. Um, this is a little walkway that you saw right here overlooking the town. And then we've got Dusty Miller and everything, these flower boxes. And then, look at this, darlings. This is so charming. We've got a little step down, and we've got a little cafe here, a little cafe balcony right? A Lido deck. And then we've got my own wonderful chair and my plants up here. This is another unit, another, another um, level. And then we've got all of this down below. We've got plantings and we've got a pergola over there with a barbecue. And that's a deck over there that's ours. And here's a lily pond filled with koi, beautiful koi and they're gorgeous and the lilies uh the lily pads are starting to bloom and there's mummy's garden and of course i hate to I'm, i i got greedy i didn't pick up the hose and i didn't finish picking up but i want you to see 
um, let me see if I can do this carefully without falling down the stairs and breaking my neck. What a, f what a finish for Sybil Brunchen. Um, this is the rest of our deck. And you can see that I've got flower boxes and flower pots everywhere, and I'm redoing the baskets. This is the baskets that we found here, and now I'm replanting them and repotting them and putting soil and, and you know, coconut fiber in them. These are all my darlings. For those of you that watch Mommy, every, every Tourette, look at all these plants. This is all from my old, my old garden. Look, there's the wonderful balloon flowers. And... What I love is that this is the entry. So when I used to take you at Bottoms Up through the entry and you would come in and you would see uh, what, what it was like to walk in, this is now what you will see instead. So as opposed to the old deck, which was very charming, this is what you will see now as you walk into the new place. There's our gate. And here you go. Talk about Ziegfeld. This is right out of Sondheim's Follies. Hats off, here they come, those beautiful girls. Look, the staircase. He even, Scott, who used to own this place, actually recessed those railings as if he wanted pots there, right? So you have Lana Turner coming down the stairs. Lana Turner, I'm sorry. And there's the pots and pots on the sides. And here's the koi pond and there's my gazanias. Everything is sort of, and look, the pergola. And there's a barbecue up there. Isn't it chanting? It's so sweet. It's so cute. One seating after another. There's a bird bath. There's my bird feeder. All these, I did these just today. I did the baskets today. This is what the baskets used to be when I got out here. They were all dead, right? Dead to dead with weeds, which I still embrace. Um, some of the Dusty Millers are alive. Some of them are dead. So I've been condensing them, digging them up, um, condensing them, making them lovely. And so these are projects on the, in the works. So uh, these flower boxes were all dead. So I dropped my flower pots in them, right? There's my yarrows you all ask, ask about. Nice, huh? So this is a work in progress, but it is a work that just, oh, you know, I don't have kittens or dogs, puppies. I don't have cats anymore. So my plants, my orchids and my plants have become my foundlings, my orphans, and I, I raise them and nurture them. And this is what I'm doing. And this is our wonderful place this year. And I guess what I want to close with is this. I always say, be present, be mindful, be grateful. I want to, because everything is borrowed, everything you see and smell and taste and hear and hold in your hand and your heart, this is all borrowed. Look at that purple. Look at the purple quivering at this hour. And that, again, this is not the right color. This is not at all what I'm seeing. It's so washed out. I've got to adjust the color on this, this phone so that you can see the brilliant quivering purple of those ageratums and those scaviolas and those salvias. But this is what I want to say to you. As bad as I'm filming this right now, the beauty of the world is always waiting to be acknowledged by you. It's always waiting just for you to look at it and say, oh, thank you. And so be present, be in the moment, be mindful. That means to be aware that this is transit, transitory that this is not going to last. And then to be grateful, to say thank you. I don't care if you say thank you to God. I don't, see, I don't care if you say thank you to the universe. I don't care if you say thank you just to the color purple. Say thank you. And remember that life is filled with unexpected wonder. Just as life is filled with unexpected sadness or tragedy or setback or loss, life is equally full of unexpected beauty and joy and contentment and love. Be aware of all of the amazing wonder of life.
all of it, all of it, all of it. As you climb the journey and you wander through life, sometimes easy, sometimes not, life often has unexpected beauty. I'll talk to you later, darlings. Good night.